Welcome back to Just Scribble. Today I am going to do an unboxing of my January sub box from the stationery selection. I actually got this box about a week ago, but I was sick with the flu and so I didn't get to do an unboxing and so I'm sharing it with you now even though it's a little late because now it's February. But I still think it's fun to see all of the stuff that we get in these boxes in case it inspires you to get one too or you see items in it that you want to find online or through a friend overseas or something like that. So as always, the box comes with a little letter from Mitts that talks about the items that are in the box and explains them to us and talks about the things that are unique or special to the box, things that are limited edition or things that were made specifically for her subscription box that you can't get elsewhere. We also have her little business card here which has the website so that you can subscribe and always make sure that you follow her on Instagram because if she restocks boxes, like if she has extras and she restocks them, she'll post that there. And then when subscriptions open up, if they are sold out, she will also post that there. So I got a little note from Mitz in this box. She had seen that we had lost one of our dogs and so she wrote me a little note to tell me that she was sorry for our loss and it's on this beautiful Japanese, like a little cat on it. It's super, super sweet. So I will definitely be tipping that into my journal. But let's get to the items in the box. So this is a fortune telling charm. Since 2020 is the year of the rat, they're including a charm for the January 2020 box. This is handmade and it has the little rat. It looks like a mouse to me, but it has the little rat on there and the little tie. It's very, very pretty. I probably wouldn't attach this to one of my notebooks. Maybe. Like I could add a lobster clasp or something and attach it, but I don't generally attach things like to my notebook. But I think I'll attach it to like a large paper clip maybe and clip it into the pocket of one of my notebooks just so that I can see it when I open up my my traveler's notebook and it won't get messed up that way. But that's really, really cute. So that is our little charm. This is a Pilot Cocuno fountain pen. So I have... Um, I think one or two other Pilot Cocuno fountain pens. These are great little starter pens or great pens to turn into an ink dropping pen. So maybe I will use this one to do a video for you guys and show you guys how to convert a pen into an ink dropper. So basically that means, let me open it up so I can show you guys. This is the pen, right? And it's in a fine nib which is a Japanese fine, so it's gonna be finer than, say, a Twisby fine. And it has a cartridge, and so normally you can put a cartridge or a converter in the pen, and so that pops in here, and it pushes ink up into the feed so that you can write. But Pilot's cartridges are fine, and I often refill them with a different color of ink once I've used up the ink that's black if I want a colored pen, or if it was blue because I don't like blue pens very much, or I'll actually just rinse them out and dump it down the drain and then reuse their cartridges because they have notoriously bad converters. They're just really a pain to fill. They don't hold very much ink, and so their cartridges and reusing their cartridges is great. But another good option is to convert it into an ink dropper pen. And so what that means is that you could actually fill this barrel with ink and you get all of that capacity in your fountain pen. And so this whole thing would be filled with ink and it would be sloshing around, which looks cool when you're writing, and it gives you much more ink in your pen. So I will save this pen and sometime this month, I will do a video on converting this to an ink dropper pen, the tools that you need, how it works, just so you guys can kind of see it and talk to you about some of the inks that are good for that purpose and some of the inks that can stain the inside of your pen. So that is our fountain pen, which is awesome because I love fountain pens. So this is a beautiful postcard. 
with a pound cake on it that was drawn and inspired by one of their team members. It is gorgeous. I'm gonna add this to my postcard collection that I've been trying to make with the postcards that I get in my stationery selection box because I want to make some sort of artwork or hanging thing for my studio that has them on them because I just think they're so pretty and we get them, get them occasionally in our boxes and I just want to keep them out where I can see them. So I will keep that for that. Let's move the box out of the way for the rest of this. Maybe. All right. So next we have these beautiful envelopes and they are handmade by an artisan in Osaka. And there's two of them. They are, it's hard to explain. They're textured, like you can see that, right? That they're textured, but they're kind of squishy almost, or I don't know, they're very, very soft. And the pattern is gorgeous. And you're supposed to be able to write on these with fountain pens. I am probably going to save these or at least save one of these to use for Create December in 2020 just because it's green and envelopes are kind of a fun thing to add into your junk journal process. And maybe I'll keep the other one for my personal journal, maybe to slip a private note or something into, or maybe I'll decide I want to do some snail mail to a very special friend and use it for that. But those are gorgeous. And then this is a paper. And we've gotten papers kind of like this before. They, the last one I got was kind of textured, I guess. And I use it in junk journaling and I really, really like it because it's pretty. And it, I don't know, it just adds texture and decor to your junk journal, but it's super, super sophisticated too. But the little thing came with instructions on different things you can do with it. So you can use it as a coaster, which is really funny. You can use it as, I don't know if that's gift wrap or a note to go with a package, a present, to hold your chopsticks. I don't know what that picture is. And then obviously you can write on it. I find that they are great to write on or to just tip into your notebooks. They're kind of a gold, if you can see that. The print on it is gold. And they're textured on this side and then super, super smooth on this side. And there's a, a whole bunch of them. They're all the same. Those are really pretty. I like when we get a kind of neutral like this because you could use this in any junk journal that you did or in any letter that you write. It's not specific to a season. So that's really nice. And then this is one of the papers that they folded up into a little envelope so that you can tuck something in there and then kind of close it up and make a little secret pouch for inside your notebook for a little letter or something like that. And then these are number seals, classic -y. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong number seals, but these were made specifically for the box. So you can't buy these in this color, which is kind of the same gold colors on the papers, kind of coordinates. You can't buy these elsewhere. So you're only gonna get them in the box, which is really cool. I like when we get things that are exclusive to the box, it just makes it feel really special. So there are one, two, three, four, five five sheets and they go zero to nine and they're they're like uh, old school stamps that you lick so you get them wet and then they stick or I guess you could use a glue tape runner thing I think I'm saving these also for my create December for 2020 when I was doing create December for 2019 and I know I still owe you guys a flip through of that I realized I didn't have a lot of stuff to decorate and kind of make it special. So I spent a lot of time trying to find what I wanted to use and how to make it. And I needed everything kind of in one place. So I decided that 
throughout the year as I found something that I thought was special and that would fit my aesthetic and would work well in a December journal. I would keep it and put it like in a little box and then that way when it came time for Create December, everything would be in there except for, you know, photos and things like that that I wanted to add at the time. And I wouldn't be hunting and pecking and trying to find things that could work in my Create December junk journal. But I think these are really, really pretty and because of the numbers, I could use them to date each page. This year I used a stencil and so I think I will use these for that purpose and then whatever's left over then I'll use after that for other other reasons. But I'm going to save these for my Create December junk journal also. And then the last thing that we got is a stamp with this um, Artnik ink. I love the Artnik ink. If I can get this open, I can show you guys. I've only gotten the Artnik ink through my stationery selection sub boxes. So I only have a couple of colors and most of them are kind of in the green, neutrally beigey kind of color spectrum. And I love red. So I'm really excited about the red. And so we got the, the ink with the stamp. That is one thing I will say that when Mitz gives us stamps, she gives us ink, which is awesome because although I have ink, it kind of annoys me if I get stamps from somewhere like in a sub box and they don't give you the ink to use it. So I, I don't know why, I just feel like if you get one, you should get the other. But so she gave us this red in cardinal, so it's a cardinal red, and then this beautiful, beautiful stamp designed by um, the Instagram person life at 30s life life at 30th something like that i'll i'll put a link so that you can get to it because i know i'm going to be remembering that wrong so this stamp was designed specifically for the box and it has a whole bunch of kanji on it in the middle of the the kanji in the middle means stationary box and so basically this little stamp that means stationary box and then all the other kanji around it mean other things on mitz's channel she has also does an unboxing and she talks about the items and how she curated them and things like that and she goes through the kanji meanings and so i will try to put them down below in the description box for you as well so that you can see what they mean but let me stamp for you what that looks like so i'm going to get out my scribbles that matter you guys may have noticed that this scribbles that matter i I'm solely using this one for sampling inks and things that I purchase and share with you guys or things that come in my sub box, stuff like that. And so it is truly just a swatch book. That's its entire purpose, which I am actually loving because I keep it right next to where I film and I just have a book with me that I can use to show you guys. And because it has bright white paper, everything really pops on it and it's very thick paper so it pretty much handles everything that I throw at it. So I'm really enjoying that and it makes it consistent because then every time I show you guys something it's always on the same type of paper. So I'm going to stamp right here just so you guys can see. Isn't that pretty? I just think it's gorgeous. I'm super excited about this. I love her stamps. Um, I have a few of them from my stationery selection sub boxes because I'm coming up on my two year anniversary of my subscription. And I I really like the stamps. I like the, the Japanese stamps. They're just, they're very unique. They're always very pretty. They look nice in your journal or in your planner. They are timeless and they are always, they're just really, really pretty. I just really like them. So I'm super excited about that. And I love the red ink. So I'm very excited about that as well. So that is the stamp that we got. She is trying to obtain more of them or get um, stock more of them on their own. So I think her intention is that she will have these available for, for purchase in the shop on their website so that you could pick up a stamp if you wanted. So I just thought I would share that. But that is the little unboxing 
for my January sub box. Hopefully I won't be sick in February when I get my box and so I'll be able to unbox it at a more appropriate time frame from the receipt of the box. Overall, I am excited about the box and I like the box. It has some very unique items and some handmade things, which is awesome. And items that I wouldn't be able to get anywhere else, which is the reason that I love my sub boxes from Stationery Selection. And although I'm not going to be using some of these items until December, which seems like a really long way away, I am excited to have them and to add them to my little treasure trove for Create December that I will be doing again this year. And I am super excited to add this to my planner and my journal. And since it's February now and I have red ink, I can do it for Valentine's Day. That is my unboxing. I hope that you liked it. If you have any questions about any of the items in the sub box or about the box itself, please don't hesitate to comment below. Make sure that you follow Mitts on Instagram and I will post a link below so that you can do that in case you are interested in grabbing a sub box for yourself. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this unboxing and don't forget to just scribble.